Hi, my friends. Thank you so much for joining me. So today I have a nice, short yoga practice for us. And this one is my candlelight restore class. So this is a great class if you are feeling really tired or anxious or stressed, or maybe a great way to unwind at the end of the day. So you're not going to need really any equipment for this class. If you would like, you can grab a small cushion from your bed or your couch. That might make you a little more comfortable our goal here is really just to be as comfortable as possible and just relax down into these nice, slow, restorative stretches. So I invite you to go ahead and roll out your yoga mat, maybe put on a nice candle or dim the lights a bit, anything to make you more calm. And then we'll go ahead and get started. I'll head over to my mat. Good, so once you get to your mat, as I mentioned, um, a cushion of any kind might be helpful. Uh, we might use it for some of our poses at the end, so you can just keep it handy. Other than that, let's go ahead and we're gonna take just a few moments to check in. So if you'd like, you may do this seated or lying down. I believe today I'm going to lie down on my back with my knees bent. I find that to be a very relaxing, restorative pose, but also gentle on the hips. So do what's right for you. So I like to lie down on the back with my knees kind of knock kneed together, one knee supporting the other. And I just want you to relax down. You can place a hand on the belly or the chest. Just breathe in and out a few times. Feel free to Release any tension. You can gently close the eyes here. Just want to take a few minutes to let the mind and the body start to slow down. Relax. Treat yourself with a little extra care today. Know that if any racing thoughts are happening or emotions surface or you feel agitated, you find it hard to relax, that is okay. That is completely normal. Just keep breathing in and out. As you start to focus on the breath, Take just a moment. See if there are any tight or tense places in the body. Feel free to make this check-in your time. What I say is merely a suggestion. If you feel places that are tight, just let them sink and settle. Feel free if you need to move the head a little side to side, anything at all. This time is set aside for you to unwind. Good. Let's commit to this next while to just doing a few stretches to help everything recharge. Commit to focusing on the breath and doing what feels good to you, treating yourself with gentility and kindness for this next while. Good. So you may keep the eyes closed or to open them to a soft focus if you prefer. If you are laying on your back, continue to stay there. If you were seated, I invite you to please come onto your back for a moment. Bend your knees, place your feet on the mat, 
And then I'd like you to take your feet maybe just a little wider than hip width apart. We're on the mat. So now we're gonna do windshield wipers with the knees. I like to take a big inhale and then exhale, let my knees fall over to one side. So you can see what I'm doing here. We inhale and the knees fall the other way. So I just invite you to see if this is comfortable for you. If your hips are very tight, a lot of times our hips are super tight from sitting at a desk, that's okay. Just go where you're comfortable. Maybe the knees will touch the floor, maybe they won't. Maybe they'll just go a little side to side. Find out what works best for you here. The most important thing is to relax and to breathe. So I like to take a big inhale, exhale, fold and so on. So let's do just a few rounds of these lovely knee drops, windshield wipers side to side. Opening in and out. Good. Take your time with this. If anything feels especially good during your practice, feel free to hold a stretch or do a few extra rounds. Make it your practice. While we start to unwind, take a moment too and maybe relax the jaw, relax the shoulders. Good. Let's do one more windshield wiper to each side. Great. Awesome. And then when you're ready, go ahead and just let those knees float up. We're gonna draw some lovely circles with our knees now. So I just bring them up to the chest, open them as wide as you'd like. And then to give our low back a little massage, maybe circle those knees. This is also a great way to improve our digestion. Bringing the knees up to the chest is very healthy for our abdominal tract, our intestine. Good. So let's go ahead and circle the other way. Just really focusing on this conscious relaxation. Good. And again, I'm moving quicker because that's what works for me. You can move slow. Good. All right. Next time you circle around, let's nice and slow hug those knees in. Maybe the knees go just a little bit wider. And take a moment to uh, give your feet a little love, a little attention. So maybe wiggle the toes or circle the ankle. Good. Just let those feet feel some appreciation and unwind too. All right, we're gonna do one more pose on our back before we come up to seated. We're gonna go into happy baby. So for happy baby, you're gonna bring your feet up and everybody's different. Perhaps you hold on to your heels or insoles and that's where I like to go. Sometimes some folks find it better to hold on to ankles or even underneath of the knees. So depending on where you're at today, and then you're gonna bend your knees and then as you can see I'm doing here, open those knees wide. <laughs> so I admit it's not the most dignified position in yoga perhaps, but just as little babies gravitate to grabbing the feet and rolling about, this pose is again wonderful for digestion. Also massages the kidneys, atop of the kidneys we have the adrenal glands which in many overworked adults, our adrenals are taxed and tired. So this helps relax the body. So if you'd like, you can rock a little and happy baby, or you can just relax and hold. Another great option if you're more in the mood for a more active stretch is you can begin to slowly straighten the legs here as well. So just breathe, releasing any tension. One final breath in your asana, your stretch. 
bed. And then slowly knees to chest. And let's start to make our way onto our side. So take your time. I like to roll very gently into the fetal position. Maybe rest there for a breath. Good. And then nice and slow, come on up. So we're gonna do just a few stretches seated. Not too active today. Just a little mini flow to release tension. If you would like, just to make things a bit more restorative, you can um, have your cushion handy. We may use it here when we fold forward. So we're gonna start with just a comfortable seated position. So you can have legs crossed or out in front. Sometimes out in front is a little more relaxing to me. So find out what works for you. Then let's just take a moment doing some nice shoulder rolls. Really breathe deeply here. Relaxing the head and neck, relaxing the shoulders, relaxing the hands. Focus on that neck. If you'd like, I'd invite you to do some nice free form neck stretches. Notice anywhere that's tight or tense. If you'd like, if you find a tight spot, you can gently hold. <sighs> Just remember to breathe. Good. Awesome. So from our comfortable seated position, I just invite you to go into some gentle spinal twists. So you can, um, again, have legs out in front. If you wish, just twist one way. Opening up the backs of the shoulder blades. And then the other way. Good. Nice big inhale through center. Let's do some seated cat and cow stretches. So we're gonna arch the spine forward and then back. So we're gonna inhale, open the chest, look up towards the ceiling. Really feel those lungs expanding with breath. And then exhale, carve back. Pull in those abs. Let's do this one more time. Inhale, arch. And exhale, contract it in. Good job. And you can feel free if you like to do it one more time or again, just really trying to loosen some of the uh, compression down in the lumbar region and in the thoracic chest area. Good. Okay, if you'd like your pillow here to make this more restorative, what you're going to do now is have it out in front of you, maybe about 12 inches in front of you. You'll figure out where you need to have it. We're going to have our legs nice and wide. So this again, make it your own. Maybe they're in a little closer, that's fine. You want the legs to be nice and relaxed, nothing too tight. So from here, we're just going to inhale, take those arms up and gently fold over one of our legs. I just have the feet relaxed and soft, but you can feel free if you prefer point or flex the toe. Just relax forward. Let's take just two breaths here. Inhale. Exhale. One more, inhale. And exhale. And this is a slow flow today. In a true restorative practice, we would hold poses even longer. But today, we'll go at a nice medium slow pace. Let's go ahead and inhale, arms up, and then gently float the other way. And just take two nice deep inhales and exhales here. Really thinking of unwinding the body, unwinding the face, the jaw, being present, taking this time out. Let's go ahead, inhale, and bring those arms up high. And here's where we're going to use our cushion. You're going to reach forward. 
And then it's up to you if you like. Um, if you're liking more of a stretch, then reach those fingertips. Keep the cushion a little farther away as you fold forward. Or if you want to make it a little more restorative, find that spot of resistance with the back. And then you can gently stack maybe your hands on top of the cushion. Just rest your forehead down. And we're just going to take four deep breaths here. Inhale. Exhale, you're releasing tension. Inhale. Exhale, you're releasing stress. Inhale. Exhale, feel those muscles, that fascia, connective tissue starting to unwind. And one more inhale. Let things soften. Good. Nice and slow now. Let's slowly, slowly start to come up. Good. Keep your cushion handy. We'll use it in a few moments. We'll just set it off to the side of our mat. And then I just invite you to bring those legs together. We're going to come to hands and knees just for a little gentle flow here. Everything is going to be low down on our mat. If you feel any tension or tightness, uncomfortableness on the knees being here, you can fold your mat into a little extra fold as a cushion. Use your uh, pillow under the knees or maybe use a folded blanket. Also, we will be um, on our wrists for just a moment. If this hurts your wrists, just go ahead and put your hands into little fists. Sometimes that can help release tension. We just want to make sure you're comfortable. Alrighty, so from here, one more time, let's go into cat and cow. Inhale, arch. And exhale, lower. One more time. Inhale, arch. And exhale, lower. Good. Awesome. Back to a nice neutral spine. From here, we're going to do just a very gentle flow. I like to call this one the earth salutation. It's kind of like the popular um, sun salutation in yoga, but a little more passive and down on the ground. So just follow along with me. We're going to start by opening knees wide, reaching fingertips forward, and coming into our child's pose. And don't feel like you have to rest your head all the way down here. I'll show you in a moment how you can use a cushion. But let's just go ahead and stretch it back. And then from here, this is our flow segment of today's class. We're going to start with inhale, coming back, um, hips towards the heels, and then inhale, arms up. Reach up nice and high. From here, exhale, bring your hands down in front of you. Look through those hands, and now using your strength, you're going to gently pull through, drop those hips down, and you may come into an upward facing dog pose or have the elbows bent into a nice cobra. So we're just stretching the abdominal area, stretching our back, and then we go to a tabletop, hands and knees. And then to finish one round of our earth salutation, you're gonna lift those hips high and come into downward dog. And just pedal out those feet. So our goal here in this restorative flow is to move enough that the body starts to soften, the muscles start to warm a little bit, but to still move nice and slow so that we feel relaxed. So I invite you to find that balance for you, whatever that means. The balance between stretchy, loosening and softening of muscle tissue and that relaxation element. All right, so from our downward dog, we'll repeat this sequence three more times. So please come along with me at your pace. So we begin stretching back, child's pose. And then sit back on the heels, hero's pose, and gently flowing through a nice big reach. Fold the body forward, child's pose. Take a nice deep inhale, exhale, pull your body through, coming into that back bend. Cobra upward facing dog pose. Good. 
Slowly make your way to that tabletop, and when ready, tuck your toes, downward dog. And feel free to paddle out the feet here. I'm gonna take one nice big inhale. Good. Drop down to the knees, child's pose. Two more rounds. Let's start to go at our own pace. Inhale, child's pose. Exhale, hero. Inhale, reach. And fold. Inhale, look through the hands. Pull the body through. Flexible spine. Inhale, upward dog or cobra. Exhale, come to hands and knees. Take a moment, adjust your hands, wide starfish hands, and find your down dog. Pedal out those feet. Good. Let's do this one more time. Down to knees, find your child's pose. Good. Inhale back. Reach up. Fold. Look through the hands and pull. Tabletop. And downward dog. Breathe. Good. Come down to hands and knees and make your way to child's pose. Good job. Let's take a breath here in child's pose. And I just invite you to walk your fingertips over to the right edge of your mat in child's pose, stretching the side body. Walk them over to center and stretch over to the left. Good. Breathe. Nice job. Now let's come through center. I invite you to sit down on your heels just for a moment. We're going to use our cushion to do a few nice restorative poses now. So just follow along with me. We are going to be doing legs up the wall, which I will demonstrate on my wall here. If you can, um, I would invite you to move your mat either close to a wall or a chair, and I'll show you a chair version as well. So before you do that, let's go ahead. Let's place our cushion in front, and then we're gonna go in to thread the needle with a cushion. So you can do this without as well, but I just wanna give you this restorative option. So we come back to our tabletop, and then for thread the needle, we're gonna take our hand. I'm gonna use my left hand so you can see me thread through. We put it out to the side, yeah? So it's right about where my head is, shoulder height. Thread it through. And then we're going to take the cushion to rest our head on. So again, you can rest the head right um, on the floor. That's fine too. But if you wanna try this with a cushion, you can. So as we thread through, you should feel the nice opening in the backs of the shoulders. So give this a try. <sighs> Take a deep breath, inhale. And exhale. One last breath here. And then we're just gonna do the other side. Inhale. Remember to make the asanas work for you. So we'll go ahead and try it on the other side. And if you'd like, if you prefer without cushion, same thing, you're gonna reach out, thread through, but rest the head down on the mat. So just find out what works for you. Take two breaths here. Good. So keep breathing, hold this for another breath while I set us up for legs up the wall. So you're breathing. Good. 
and then you can start to unthread those legs. So for legs up the wall, I'm going to be using our wall. The cushion, if you choose to use it, is going to go under the hips, but I'm going to show you a chair version too in case you prefer this version. So um, let me show you that really quickly. What you're going to do is, again, if you want to use a cushion, it goes under your hips. If you use a chair, you're going to scooch your bottom close to the bottom of the chair. Bend the knees. Allow yourself to relax. And this is a great modification if keeping the legs straight up the wall is a bit much for you. And then I like to just bring the arms out to the sides. So you can go ahead and try this version if you have a chair handy. If you're um, starting to come to the wall, just follow along with me here. What we'll do is once more using our cushion, have it close. I like to come into legs up the wall by maybe starting on one side. I scooch my bottom up close to the wall, maybe laying on the side, and then very gently come on up. So again, knees can be bent as I'm showing here. Or just go ahead, bringing those legs up high. Alternately, another lovely version of legs up the wall is soles of the feet together. Or if you're feeling very stretchy, you can even take the legs out into a straddle. So we're going to hold this pose for about five slow breaths. So I invite you at this time to find your version. <sighs> Breathe deeply. Close the eyes if that's OK for you. Feel free to shift or move, trying out different variations at any point. As we start to settle into legs up the wall, I just invite you to focus in on the breath. See if you can relax completely. Let this be meditative. Return back to the breath and remembering that there is no one way to do yoga. Honor where you're at today. If you need to come out of this pose early, please feel free to do so. After this pose, we're going to do a short meditation and I'm going to give you some options. We'll do our traditional Shavasana meditation lying on the back. Or if you'd like, you can try fish pose with me, which is a wonderful chest opener as well. So let's just take about two more long, slow, Deep breaths here and legs up the wall, your version. Good. And you may stay here for our meditation. It's a wonderful restorative pose. Or if you wish to come out of your legs up the wall, you'll gently bring the knees into the chest Roll over to the side, coming into the fetal position. 
And then from here, I invite you to come back onto your mat long ways. You're gonna come into Shavasana, lying on the back, releasing any tension. Or do fish pose, where you're gonna lay your cushion on the mat. It's like Shavasana, but with a little chest opener. Place your hips right at the base of the cushion. Relax back. And you may have to adjust a little depending on your comfort level. Make it so that the head is supported. Maybe some of the cushion is on the neck. And then bring hands out to sides and relax. So wherever you are at, either using the cushion for fish pose, at legs up the wall, or in Shavasana, gently close your eyes. Deep in the breath. Let us take just a few moments together now to release completely, relax completely, Prepare body and mind for rest. <sighs> Take a few de or deep breaths, just absorbing the restorative power of our poses, taking this time out for ourselves. Continue to rest here for just a few more moments. Or begin to just do small movement with the body. Wiggles of toes and fingers. When you are ready, you may very slowly roll onto the side. Coming off of your cushion, just let it rest to the side and then rest in the fetal position for a moment. <sighs> slowly start to come back up to a comfortable seated position coming out of Shavasana. Good. And just take a moment to sit up nice and tall. <sighs> Let us take the hands to heart center with a big inhale. Thank you for joining me for this gentle restorative practice. I hope that you feel more relaxed and calm and that you have a peaceful rest of your day. Thank you for taking time out for you and choosing to practice with me today. Thank you. Namaste.